Today, I'm going to show you how to make money on ClickBank completely free with a Google site. Not only that, I'm going to show you how to build it every step of the way. And I'm even going to show you some examples of sites that are crushing it with Google sites. This is going to be an extremely lucrative thing to do that you can set up in just a few minutes. So if you're excited about that, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to know when we post more videos. So I'm going to get right into it. So when you're looking at ClickBank, you go to the marketplace, you can use this for just about any niche. Now there's going to be some different niches here. Obviously, if after you watch this one, you want to pick a different one, that is completely fine. For this one, I think green products looks pretty good because we're all environmentally conscious. And I think it's a good idea to see what's in the market, especially when it comes to green products. I think this might be an interesting one to take a look at. So we'll go ahead and click on it. So here we have a lot of different things. What do we want to look at? There's two things I like to look at. I'm just going to zoom in here just a bit. But when we're taking a look at different things, the most important thing I think is the average conversion because you want to get something that's going to convert and actually give you money. It's not going to pay you any money even if you like it. might not be the best product to promote. On top of that, we got the gravity score. And I think the gravity is huge because you have to know what the graph stats are. How much is this really getting? Are people interested in even promoting it? So those are the two big things. If something isn't giving you good average conversions and doesn't have a good graph score, it's probably not worth promoting. So once you find something that you say, hey, I really like this, whether it's green technology, whether it's health, whether it's in the dating niche, you can pick whatever you'd like. Then you want to go to their affiliate page. You want to click on it and then you can see here that you can simply enter your email to get started now and then you can get all of their different stuff. Now, if they're not giving you tons of stuff to promote, it's probably going to be really tough to get that out. So the three big things are, yes, you want to make sure there's average conversion and gravity, but it's going to be tough unless you want to make a landing page and do a bunch of work to really get something out without a lot of resources. And this is great because you can see, hey, there's tons of resources here with demographics. This is just amazing. All, look at all the stuff that you have here to promote it videos you have images you have everything you need to do and one thing i think that's awesome with this is you can also take a look see how that they put this all together and then just post your affiliate link after you've taken all this content which we'll get to in a second and you can even if you're inclined take a look at google and go to google and then just search something like how to recondition a car battery. You can see that, boom, not only do they have a ton of stuff here for that, but there's a lot of information on it. The best way to do this is to go to Word Tracker. Now, Word Tracker, as we can see here, finds a lot of different information. Now, what you want to do at wordtracker.com is simply come here and then you can search for anything and everything you want to find that's SEO related. So you can do something like how to recondition a car battery. And it's going to take a look and find keyword suggestions. So we'll just give it a second here. Why this is extremely prevalent is you can take a look and see how much volume they're getting. So you know how to actually build your site. So let's get right to it. You want to go to sites.google.com. Now with sites.google.com, you're going to see all these different sites. This is going to put a site under Google's domain, but you're going to be able to promote it. Now why are we doing it through Google? Because Google wants to index their own sites and they're going to push it up at the top. And I'm going to show you some examples of that after we're done. But how do we build this site? Well, I suggest click on project. I think that's an easy one and I like the template. So we're going to click on project here and this is a new Google site. So we have everything here and then we're just going to take a look at our affiliate resources. We have easy battery recondition. And one cool thing we can do is we can just start copying this or we can type it in here. So I'm just going to type in, you know, project name like easy battery. And then I'm going to type in battery
Now, we have an image here. It's going to say change image. Where are you going to get an image here? And how are you going to get all the content for this stuff? So that might seem a little bit daunting, but that's why I say I like the affiliate resources because you can click down to ads, images, and banners here, and there's just so much stuff. There is absolutely an infinite amount of stuff here that you can use to promote. So I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna find an image that I like, and I'm gonna go ahead and save and upload. So these look pretty good. We can see that you know there's tons of stuff here. So you can just literally right click. This is all stuff that you wanna use. And you can literally click and save the image to your PC. It's gonna take a second. And I can come here, I can grab videos. You don't even have to limit yourself. If you want to put videos on here, you can definitely do that. If you want to put images, you can do that as well. But just to keep it simple, we're going to come back, change image, upload, and then we're gonna upload this image, car battery reconditioning, that looks a heck of a lot better. We have easy battery reconditioning as we're taking a look at the thing here and we're taking a look at the page. And actually, just to show you another example, if we go to easy battery reconditioning, we can even come here over to Word Tracker, we can paste this in, and then it's going to show how it looks. And what will be interesting to take a look at is you can keep doing this over and over and over and over and over um, and you do have a limited amount of searches so keep that in mind but the nice thing is oh boom easy battery reconditioning how much volume does it have wow that's pretty good so easy battery reconditioning and battery reconditioning how to properly recondition your car battery we can put the mission of the project showing now, here's the thing. I think a lot of people are gonna find cumbersome. Well, I don't want to be writing every single thing. That, that would take a long time. I just wanna go ahead and you know, get descriptions and get everything and get everything done. I don't wanna be like sitting there writing a ton of content and doing that. That's okay. Remember I showed you, you have resources here. Just click on product description. Boom, we're down here in product description. And literally, this is all resources we can use. I can literally go ahead and copy a piece of this. So, or all of it, or whatever I want. So, I can copy something here. Literally, click, copy, come over to here. And then I can, boom, give them a description. And then I can center this if I'd like. Center this. So now, not only do I have showing you logical steps to recondition your car battery, I have a product description and then there's a bunch of images here. What do you want to do? Just a quick refresher. Well, I can come here. I can start saving these images all like so. And I can hit save. Boom. Save image. Boom. And I think you get the idea from here. Come here. And then if I want to cycle this out, insert a link, remove it you know, more editing options. I go to replace image, I click upload, and then I get this nice dude here, and then I come here, upload, and then I can pick another image, and I can keep rinsing and repeating, and then I can either, you know, update, I can change if I wanna have this as an image. You can put a YouTube link, you can put a lot of different stuff here as well. Or you can simply delete it. And the nice thing is, you can update all these placeholders. What are they gonna be? Are they gonna be an image? Are they gonna be something else? And then you just click on the image here and then you can upload more images as I've shown. So that should give you a great idea on how to go ahead and go about it. So how do you actually do the affiliate link? Well, instead of questions here, I'd say, and then you just put something here. see how it has take action here and we have a link well how we, what are we going to do well we want to go back to clickbank if you remember we want to take a look at promote if you've done this before generate hop links we're going to get this hop link and we can do one of two things you can do actually a few things here you can come here 
put this in here, put this link, and then click update. And I'll take them there. You can also change the name, take action, get my course, whatever you want to do. And you can also put this link in different images as well. So you can link it to a place here, or you can link it to an external link. Now the last but not least thing I want to show is, let, let's say you don't want history. Well, you can either delete that, you can rename it, um, you can go to properties here and say instead of history, I want product description. And hit done. And I, I don't need, I don't need team here anymore. I don't need these pages. Or maybe you just want to keep the home page. You can simply do that by right clicking here and click delete. And right clicking here on FAQ and click delete. And then that's just that simple. Last but not least, you want to hit publish. Now they're going to give you different domains. You're going to have to try and play a little bit, especially if a lot of people are doing this and make sure you have it. So you can try easy reconditioning. And then last but not least, you also want to keep this unchecked because you want to make sure search engines are displaying your site. And then last but not least, you can click publish and make sure that it publishes. Your site has been successfully published and that's it. Just to show you a couple examples, there are some things like a Hotmail login that's absolutely crushing it. Right now, as you can see here, this is a Google site as well. There's how to lose weight really fast at home. I think a lot of people are looking at that now, if, especially if you're at home. This is a Google site as well. And you can just take a look here and see that, wow, there's a ton of examples. And this is really easy to set up. I set it up in a few minutes and boom, you can start to get money on autopilot. All you have to do is set up these Google sites and different niches and then keep going. But make sure that when you're doing that, you're checking the word tracker and you're saying, hey, what is getting the most hits? As for ClickBank, make sure you have good average conversion, good gravity, and that the product you're promoting preferably has a lot of the affiliate stuff that I've just used to promote it. Otherwise, it's gonna to be tough. You're gonna to have to find pictures from other places and use your own landing page software or other ways to promote it. So that's everything. I know that was a lot of stuff, but I definitely know if you rinse and repeat this strategy, you can make money for free on ClickBank and start crushing it. So if you enjoyed this, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to know when we post more videos. If you have any questions, comments, you need any help with this, any questions about Google Sites, hit me up in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Keep hustling hard, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.